Okay, this is part two. Um, I am ready. Um, my hair's done and my makeup's done. And all I have to do now is pack. And um, I'm taking a break before I do that. <laughs> because well, let me tell you, it's a job. It is a chore to pack clothes now. Um, in one video that I did uh, this past week, I can't remember which one it was, but I talked about um, how you get stuck in a clothing rut and you wear the same pieces over and over again and totally ignore the rest of your closet. Um, and what I meant to say, my point about that was I have been wearing the same clothes over and over again. When I go to my closet to pick something new, it's too big. Um, so I'm missing out on wearing a whole lot of clothes because I don't have a variety, I guess, like a day-to-day -day variety. Because, I mean, I work in an office and I go to school, so I just want to wear baggy-ass jeans and, you know, a t-shirt and a hoodie or a tank top and a hoodie or something like that. Something comfortable. And, um, when it's time to wear nice clothes, I go to my closet and everything is too big. Um, so, uh, you know, the, uh, cute little Old Navy, uh, sweater cardigan that I bought in a large, um, I haven't worn it yet. <laughs> I've had it for months and I haven't worn it and it's almost too big. Um, this is really, really amazing. I bought um, my blue Incubus shirt at the last concert I went to and I bought it in a medium because you know I, I was like I want to look forward to wearing something and I look at it and I think that is way way too small I, I've got to lose 50 more pounds to fit into that and today just for kicks and giggles I put it on and it fit. My Incubus medium shirt fit and it looked good. It wasn't tight or anything. <laughs> it's really cool that you know you buy a piece of incentive clothing and then you find out that you can wear it now and you're not even at your goal. And um, that was really overwhelming this morning and um, I can't wait to wear it <laughs> um, I'm gonna take it with me this weekend I'll probably just wear it around the house or something right to my dad's house and be like hey dad look I'm wearing a medium <laughs> um, I mean I can't get over that I can wear my medium incubus shirt comfortably um, so yeah I've been trying to find something to wear in my closet and I really like my uh, silk polka dot v-neck shirts that I bought at Old Navy. The tags are still on them. I modeled them in my uh, clothing video and um, I'm going to have to wear something over it because it's going to be like 45 tomorrow. I mean it's it's 65 degrees outside now. It's gorgeous. Just like yesterday. Yesterday was gorgeous. And, um, but yeah, it's going to be cold, so I'm going to have to wear something over it. And the only thing that I have, like, I have a long leather jacket. I have tons and tons of hoodies. I mean, I can't wear a hoodie with that, though. It's too dressy. And, um, I have a couple of cardigan type hoodies. Uh, one's a black and it buttons up and the other is orange. And neither one of those would go with it. And so I'm like, well, you know, I might could wear my jean jacket with it if I got some different pants. Because I don't want to wear a jean jacket and jeans. Yeah. Um, so I put that on and my jean jacket is way too big. I've, I've worn it out once. And when I wore it out that time, it was snug. I couldn't even button it. And now I wrap it around me and the buttons go like all the way over here. So, um, 
I'm gonna have to uh, go through my closet now and start making a pile of yard sale stuff since um, most of my clothes now are like springy stuff and everything um, so and it's kind of disappointing because I have to go buy new clothes now and I don't really want to I like all of my clothes in my closet now um, so yeah uh, what else was I gonna talk about oh yeah if um, I am planning on doing like a skin video like showing you my extra skin and stretch marks and flabbiness and droopiness um, but I'm not going to make it public because I don't want just everybody stumbling upon it and looking at it so if you want to see that video that I'm going to make sometime soon um, add me as your friend and that way I can share private videos with you um, I've been to the tannin bed this past week. You could probably tell that I'm more tan than usual. <laughs> I don't want to hear any bad things about the tannin bed, I know. Um, but, you know, I, I was laying in the tannin bed the other day and used to, when I was bigger, the top of the bed would come almost all the way down to my back. And, uh, it really wasn't comfortable and now I can pull the lid all the way down and rotate 360 and not even touch the top of the bed that's amazing and um, now I with all my extra skin and droopiness it seems like my extra skin just popped on in the last two weeks um, it, you know my stall I it just just like I say my stall whenever I have a stall I know I'm losing inches and after the stall is over I'm gonna see that I am way smaller than I was before the stall and this past stall I'm almost positive that it's um, caused my skin issues right now because I didn't have them before like two weeks ago I didn't have them and um, so when I lay in the tannin bed now I have to rearrange myself and it's really weird because if, if I just lay there, I'm going to have like a bunch of skin right here overlapping. And when I get out of the tannin bed, there's going to be a white mark right there. And it's all over my body. So I'm, I'm having to like push stuff up and, you know, like spreading stuff out and everything like that to get an even tan. And uh, for the stuff that's not tannin, I'm having to use um, some sunless tanner. So... Um, you know, I, let's see, I was going to talk about clothes and extra skin. I think that's all. Oh, no, no, no. Um, this past week, since Monday, I've lost about five pounds. And I haven't been counting calories until now, and I haven't really been restricting myself. Um, I've been grazing for the past two weeks. Since I stopped grazing and since I started counting my calories, the pounds are just coming off like mad. So, if you are at a stall and you're grazing, quit it. Don't just nibble all day long. Don't do it. Find something that's going to fill you up and that's heavy. Um, I've been drinking protein shakes in the morning. Amelia's uh, Frappuccino recipe. And... Um, it makes me queasy and nauseous so I don't want to eat for like four hours later so that's awesome uh, the, this past week I've been tracking my calories I've been getting in between 500 and 700 a day um, mostly protein I've been getting about 90 grams of protein a day less than 20 carbs um, minimal fat and uh, I'm not counting carbs or fat so, um, I'm just eating tons of protein. Protein, yay. Um, also, this is really quick. If you want to uh, get rid of somebody or whatever, take some flaxseed oil and an hour later, your gas will smell horrible. It is so bad. So, uh, yeah, if you want to run somebody off, do that. Um, it's almost 10 minutes, so I'm going to go and I'll see y'all next week.